Hi guys, just thought you might like to see this vintage radio cassette recorder which I've picked up. This is a Ferguson 3T18 and it is from 1985-ish I believe, maybe 1986. And this is, uh, this is a great recorder. This is uh, a really heavyweight quality recorder this everything you see is is made of metal there's no plastic here and it's got a digital tuner unit on and we can see we've got we've got some glare from the window here but hopefully you can see the level meter there and as we move along we've got the tuning indicator leds just moving the tuning dial here and then we've got the digital tuner on the end there and this is a frequency counter so this isn't uh, it doesn't need calibrating it's it's reading the actual frequency that the uh, that the radio is tuned to but it's uh, it's really good condition this one I had one of these back in the day and um, it disappeared, it went somewhere, not sure what happened to it, but uh, I do like this particular model. This is the third one of these that I've had. But this one is the uh, is really good condition, there's no damage at all on this. The grill's perfect. And I like this, um, this green tinted acrylic. This really just adds um, a bit of quality to the device. You know, if this was clear, this uh, I think that it wouldn't look as good, nearly as good as this. And then we can see here on the top, got the same tinted acrylic. Just a single direction cassette. It's not auto reverse. This one it does have Dolby noise reduction. That was a big deal back in the day, so they've put a light on it and a special logo there. Different tape types, chrome, metal, normal, not automatically recognised from the deck, and most of them are, but uh, this one isn't, this needs to be manually selected. Obviously uh, the usual stuff, record level. Uh, we have a tuning indicator here. This is for the radio, so the top bar there is is tuning one to four. But uh, I just thought I would uh, show you this. Not many come up in this condition, and uh, this is uh, it's a really good example. Just move the angle a little bit of this machine, just so you can see a little bit better. Not quite so much glare on the plastic now. But um, I've seen a few videos of these, you know, featuring these models. But, uh, they're always just from the front, just showing it playing. They don't really show you around and uh, in too much detail. So for those interested in this model, this is this is for you. I do recommend picking one of these up if you find one on eBay. They uh, they really are a good quality item, and uh, you know it's pretty heavy. It's probably six or seven kilos in this. Not um, not really very portable, especially when you've got eight D-cell batteries in there as well. It was the digital tuner that got it for me on these. This is uh, in the day. This was uh, this was quite a thing. There wasn't many radios at all that had digital tuners, especially uh, portable ones. And of course the iconic 80s LED VU meter. Gotta have one of those. So around the back we've got external aerial input. 
we've got a record and playback socket which is for an external tape deck and then we've got a phono input now even though it says phono it is a line level input it's not um, it's actually for a in the manual it describes it as a ceramic cartridge turntable and ceramic cartridges can be line level or um, preamp level but the this uh, particular input is a is a line level so you just need a standard um, RCA or jack plug to a five pin DIN and you can use the auxiliary input there. Microphone inputs, battery compartment for those eight D cell batteries. Again, good condition, no, uh, no corrosion in there, which you usually find on um, machines of this age. So on the side we've got a headphone socket, external speaker output jacks, and then we've got the mains input and an auxiliary 12 volt input. So we can just um, connect a 12 volt there. Let's just put a tape in, got some old ones here, 1981. These were recorded. And the sound quality on this unit is really good as well. There's a loudness control, which um, boosts the treble and the bass, but there's individual bass and treble controls as well. It's not the loudest, um, portable radio of its time. I think the um, I had a Hitachi 3D Super Woofer and that uh, that was a lot louder than this. Well, the bass anyway. Um, you know, the, the Hitachi was uh, designed for good bass response, but this one is, uh, quality-wise, this one is the best. The uh, radio's also got, it's a three band radio, so you've got the FM, which is labelled VHF, obviously FM is the, um, is part of the VHF band, the 88 to 108, so uh, the older radios you'll see it labelled as VHF, and then medium wave, I don't think it's going to pick up much in here, medium wave, because of the uh, other electrical equipment. There's too much interference. And then a long wave at the bottom there. So that's it, the Ferguson 3T18. I hope you've uh, enjoyed this little look around it. And uh, like I said, if you can uh, get your hands on one, um, I do recommend it. It is a it is a really nice unit. You know, some of them are uh, some of the ones you see are really cheaply made. They might look visually similar to this, but um, you know, the the quality of it uh, just isn't there. But this one, this one really is. Okay, thanks for watching.